I had a beautiful comment on my YouTube video that says, how ironic, a professional artist using AI that makes him redundant. This is really interesting and I see that reaction a lot to AI. Is it going to kill art? Here's the good news. Yeah, it's going to kill art and artists are loving it. This is also one of the big arguments. AI like Midjourney is for lazy people because real artists make their own work. It makes it seem as if creating art is just pressing a button and entering some words and that's it. So let me ask you two questions. Do you speak a language really fluently? And if you do, how many prize-winning and acclaimed novels have you written in your lifetime? None? Uh, but also, do you have a camera? I guess you do. And you can create a picture by pressing a button. But again, the question is how many acclaimed photos have you taken? Are you famous for your photo art? When you think, ah, that's a stupid argument, it doesn't work like that because you still have to find a nice subject that you want to photograph and then put the camera there and things like that. Yeah, so what you're saying is you still need to be creative no matter how easy the process is. And this also, by the way, was the same argument at the beginning of modern art when also photography was invented. People were amazed by how good the pictures looked and they had the argument that this will destroy art because if you can make a landscape with the click of a button, why would you still paint that? At the other hand, they also said this isn't art. Photography can never be art because it is too easy and only lazy people would take photos while real artists make the pictures themselves. The same argument we have right now. So what is actually the difference? Well, to make good art is more than just making a nice picture. It is about the idea, it's about the concept. So even if you can put any kind of phrase into AIs like Midjourney or Dali, it doesn't mean you create amazing works at the same time. You need to add value. You need to add an artistic understanding. And also, there are a lot of misconceptions about what art actually is. For example, still, a lot of people think art equals skill. You need to be really good at the craft of creating art to be a good artist. Although in art, this argument has been settled for well over 100 years. Art does not require a skill in a craft because we have art forms like the ready-made where the artwork is either not created by the artist at all, for example, the fountain by Marcel Duchamp, or that it is inspired or a copy from something that already exists, like for example, the Brillo boxes by Andy Warhol, or it is just text or a photo. We have photo art, of course, now, and we also have art, like for example, the group Art and Language that uses language as art. It can just be a thought. It can be an empty canvas. It can be an empty wall. So if you would make an exhibition with an empty gallery, that is a statement about art and this has been done as an artwork by artists. So art does not require the skill of a craft, but what it does require is good ideas, a good understanding of what art is, a good discourse with the philosophy of art. Because the art community is a worldwide community that is always trying to figure out new ways on how to think about culture, how to think about art, how to think about innovation and the process of what creates us. This is a very, very important topic of art and this is not something you just do like that, even though the image might be pretty. Now, of course, there is a lot of other art forms besides fine art. For example, we do have applied arts, which is, for example, design or fashion and architecture. If your business is to create cute stickers and t-shirts and other designs that sell with an entertainment value, well, you might be challenged by the Midjourney AI because it can create beautiful pictures. But still, you need to have good ideas to really create amazing designs. You can do any kind of average idea right now with the mid-journey, that's not a problem. 
but to come up with really outstanding ideas and beautiful works with the Mission AI, that is a hard thing to do. Also, we have pages like Canva and Squarespace and stock pages that help you to create a brand and an online existence for your company. Does that mean you are a good designer and you can create a brand identity that has merit and is sophisticated? Absolutely not, because you lack the experience, the knowledge and the exercise to actually create a good brand and have consistency in all of the different parts where you reach out to your customers. So again, even though you can do amazing things with Midjourney AI, does not mean that you suddenly are an experienced and sophisticated designer and artist. Of course, also the question remains, will AI replace us anytime soon and make better art than we do? Well, I wouldn't exactly bet on that because this would need a very sophisticated unified AI and we don't have anything close to that yet. The AIs we have right now are highly specialized like Midjourney and also specialized AI means that Midjourney can create images, but it can't drive a car, it can't explain philosophy to you, it can't even make you a coffee. Because as I said, just because a picture is beautiful, it doesn't mean it's art. So how a work has been created and how it became to be art are two completely different things. And after all, if you think about it, the only life form, the only existence we know that cares about art and makes art is us. And at the moment, AI doesn't care about art. It doesn't even understand what it's doing. You input a command and it outputs something based on the styles we have created in the past. The AI couldn't care less what the content of that image is and it doesn't have an artistic concept for why it was created in that specific way. So that means we are very far away from AIs actually creating art. I invite you to discuss this topic lively in the comments. Please be nice and civil. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.